Hello everybody, out working on some pins. I just turned the blanks for a music pin, music twist pin. This is figured walnut. It's really gorgeous wood. It's been sanded to 400. It is ready to be cleaned and finished. My garage is not up to temperature yet. You know, I'm, I'm gonna let it, let it uh, heat up for a while. Let me lay that down so I don't drop it. Uh, and I wanna show you what I got on the lathe right now. Wish me luck, I'm going to be attempting to turn a corn cob blank. And I stabilized this the other day with some Minwax wood hardener. I got it drilled out, that went well. Barrel trimming went well. So far, I've had good luck with it. So this is probably where it will all go to heck in a handbasket. <laughs> but wish me luck, I'm gonna work really hard to get this turned into a Stratus click pin. Um, this, 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 is, this, one's gonna be, this one's gonna be tricky. You've gotta be very delicate with these. I will keep you updated on how it goes, uh, win or lose on this one. Uh, I really hope to win. I hope I can get it turned and filled and looking great. Uh, hopefully by the time I do, because I know it will take a little bit of time filling all the kernel holes and everything, uh, the garage will be up to up to a decent temperature. And I'm hoping at that point my CA glue, even though I don't really have the humidity, uh, hopefully the kerosene will put some in the air and it, it'll kind of help a little bit. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that too. But we're gonna get we're gonna get this one turned and get them both hopefully finished today. And uh, well, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> I'll be back to talk with you shortly. Well, let's talk about how the corn cob pin went. Um, exploded. <laughs> um, the corn cobs I have are two, a little over two years old, and I think they're just really, really dry. Uh, the first one exploded, so I've got two more that I just glued up and um, hit them with the activator, so I'm ready to take them over to the, the belt sander and sand them down flat. Then I'll get them back on the lathe and see if maybe I can get one of these babies to work out. Well, <laughs> took two more attempts, but I think I might have the corn cob pin or corn cob blank turned. Let me show you what it looks like. It's still a little bit damp from the denatured alcohol, but it looks really good. There are no holes, no gaps. I am waiting for the DNA to dry, and as soon as it does, we're gonna start putting a CA glue finish on it. Now, I am worried still about the humidity in the shop. Um, it's, it's warm in here. It's probably about 70 degrees right now, maybe 71 degrees. Um, I don't have a thermometer. I need to get a thermometer out here so I can keep track of that. I'll pick one up at one of the big box stores. But um, hoping, <laughs> hoping, hoping, hoping that this kerosene heater might have helped a little bit with the humidity. Uh, I just got two new cans of activator or accelerator. I always forget what it's called. I think it's called accelerator. I'm gonna to try to use that sparingly, only if I have to, because if you use too much, I find that you get some hairline cracks in your blanks. So we're gonna give this another five or 10 minutes to dry, and when, when it looks like it's a uniform color all the way across, and I feel like the DNA is completely evaporated, keep your fingers crossed, we're gonna put some CA on it. Wow, <laughs> that was a lot of work. Uh, I had three corn cobs that were long enough to become stratus pins. And let me show you what happened, the first one, had a little bit of blowout while I was drilling it for the 3 8 inch tube. So that one didn't work out. The second one I was able to drill and glue, but as I was turning it, you can see I had a little bit of blowout on the end. That was kind of a bummer. And the third one, I was able to turn it, I was able to finish it and polish it, and it's ready to be assembled into a pin. Uh, I really, I gotta say, I think heating the garage I think the kerosene heater puts some moisture in the air because as I look at my windows, let me show them to you. See how they sort of have a, a residue on them? Uh, that's moisture on the inside. And I think that added, I think this kerosene heater added humidity to the air because uh, I was able to get the thin CA was drying in a wreath. It took about twice as long as it normally does. So let's say it takes a minute to dry. It took two, two and a half minutes. Man, that's extremely acceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Um, so I was really, really happy. So I think the kerosene heater helped. I've got one more pin that I need to finish. It's a music pin done in figured walnut. I'm getting ready to throw it on the lathe. Um, but this one here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay aside an in-between coats while I'm waiting for it to dry. I'll assemble this one and I'll come back and show you what it looks like in its Stratus kit. I just wanted to quickly show you how this corn cob pin turned out. Take a look at that. Let me get back a little bit so I can get it, well, try to find a good way to there we go, that's not too bad. Uh, that just looks awesome. It's a Stratus pin, our Stratus pin kit, done in gunmetal, and I think it just looks fantastic. The click mechanism works great. 
So not too bad. I've got the other pin. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many coats of CA I put on it. I had a little blob on it. So I ended up micro meshing it and starting over with the CA. I didn't take it all the way off. I just took the blob down and uh, I just put my last coat on. So I'm getting ready to go test it. I just flipped the lathe off so it wouldn't be noisy in the background while I was talking to you. I'm going to go take a look at that one and we're going to make sure it looks good. And hopefully we're going to get it together and I'll show it to you in a few minutes. I just got done putting a coat of polish on this blank. I want to show it to you real quick. That figured walnut is just amazing. I'm going to get it off of here, get it pressed into a kit, and I'll show you what she looks like. Finally got it. Hope you can see that okay. There we go. Try to get it to where we can. There you go. Starting to see that blank a little bit. It's that uh, figured walnut. It looks really nice. The pin turned out great. It was, it was a bear getting the finish on it. Um, I'm sitting here looking at the other pin thinking, and I might just need to knock that thing apart and redo it. The front part looks great. The cap is what's killing me. So I think I'm going to take it apart and try to get a better finish on there for this guy because this one turned out much nicer. And uh, I don't know. We're just going to see what we can do, but... I think that's next. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I know this has been a tedious, long video, but uh, thank you for sticking around and uh, come back and see me again real soon.